Oh my lord. Hey y'all, welcome back fam. In this video, I have a really exciting haul to share with you guys. A few weeks ago, Kathy Lights posted a video where she was going over her yearly favorite ColourPop products. And there was a big sale going on on their site as well of all of her favorites. So I picked up a bunch of stuff and I'm really excited to share these products with you. Some of the products that she had mentioned I actually already own, so I went ahead and pulled those as well to show you guys. However, I was able to pick up a lot of her favorites, and I also picked up a couple other things that were not on her list, but were on my list. If you are new here, I'd love to have you subscribe. If you like this video, if you like Kathleen Lights and ColourPop, make sure to give this video a like, and let's go ahead and get into the products. All right, so let's get started with some of her favorite things that I actually already owned. So the first thing she mentioned was this Yes Please palette. This one is going to be a lot of warmer, summery shades, lots of kind of citrusy tones. This is absolutely beautiful. I have used this palette maybe once or twice. I really, really loved it. I definitely want to get some more use out of it, and I was happy that I already had something that she loved and vouched for. Of course, she also mentioned her own palettes, which I also have. The one is the Zodiac, and it's got a beautiful array of colors ranging and inspired by the different astrological signs, as explained by Kathleen. I actually did a dedicated video on this palette as well as her loose pigments in this line, which I also have the full vault of. These are all of her loose pigments here. I can say that when I have used these pigments, I've been extremely happy with the results. I mix these with a little bit of Fix Plus in the cap and then they go right onto your eyelid, almost as if they are like painted colors. They're so beautiful. You can also use them loosely. Just remove some of the glare. Here's all the pigments here. They're really, really beautiful. I want to get more use out of this. I'm very excited to continue to tap into these beautiful products. Another palette she mentioned was her first palette with ColourPop. This is the Dream Street palette. And it is a gorgeous array of warm tones and some pretty pops of teal. I love having these palettes. I love ColourPop. I think their formula is beautiful. I love that it's affordable and so unique. Always creative, always fun, beautiful packaging. Big fan. And the last palette that she mentioned that I actually already owned was the Sweet Talk palette. I have never tapped into this. It's actually still in its box. We have this beautiful, beautiful palette here. Really beautiful packaging. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous array of springy colors. Also beautiful for summer. I cannot wait to tap into this. This is definitely on my list to try very soon. Then I have this enormous box. I can't even close it of stuff to share with you guys. So we have a lot of products to talk about. To start out, I picked up the Aha uh -huh Honey palette. Now this was not on Kathleen's list of things that she loved. This was one from my list. I actually already have all of their nine pan monochromatic palettes. I have the Ooh La La, which is the pink one. I have Main Squeeze, which is the red one. I have Just My Luck, which is still in its box. This is the green palette. I have Blue Moon, which is the blue palette. And then I have the It's My Pleasure palette, which is the purple palette. So now I also have Aha uh -huh Honey, which is the yellow palette. They just need to come out with an orange palette, which I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm curious if because they have the Soul palette, which I'll try to insert a clip of, insert a clip of here, because they already have that palette and it's kind of orange, I'm wondering if they're going to not do a dedicated orange palette. So I'm hoping they come up with an orange one. If not, I'll, I'll pick up the Soul and stick it in there. I talked to you guys a couple videos ago, actually, probably so many that you guys don't even remember, but it was like back, maybe eight videos, I'm not even sure. I talked about wanting to do a couple new fun series on my channel and things I was excited about. I want to go through the entire rainbow with all these monochromatic color pop palettes. So that is on my agenda. I want to do them one at a time and feature each one of these rainbow palettes. But I really was hoping I would get a little bit of news on the orange palette and be able to do the full complete rainbow. But maybe I will either pick up the soul palette or I'll do like the Huda Topaz palette, which is pretty orange themed, but we'll see. Also, oh, and let me show you. So the Aha uh -huh Honey palette is a yellow plastic container, and then these are all of the shades inside. So it's a beautiful palette. I'm super excited to tap into it. Yellow might not seem like the easiest shade to wear, but when you think about it in terms of gold, then it's like, oh, yeah. That is the Aha uh -huh Honey palette by ColourPop. So in addition to the Aha uh -huh Honey Pal, they had a quad of four Super Shock shadows. I've actually never owned any Super Shock shadows, so I have a bunch now. This first one is called Heat. This one is a satin formula. That is the color there. 
The formula feels super creamy. You'll see the little pattern kind of goes away as you start to touch it. And then if we swatch it, very beautiful. The next color is called Floating. This is a ultra glitter formula. If we swatch it, that is floating right there, this color. It's got some pretty like iridescent uh, glitter in it. And the color is more of like a lemony lime kind of, it's a yellow, but there's like a little tinge of green to it and then iridescent sparkles. The next one is called Sixth Sense. And this is an ultra metallic formula. So, so far we've seen three different formulas, which is pretty exciting, especially for someone like myself that doesn't have a whole lot of experience with ColourPop Super Shock formula. It's kind of nice to be able to try a couple different formulas out. So that's six cents there. And if we swatch it, this is so creamy, OMG. So that is its swatch, a really pretty kind of a bronzy gold. And then last but not least, we have another ultra glitter. This is in Rainbow Connection. So we have two ultra glitters, a satin and an ultra metallic. So this is Rainbow Connection. These are so creamy. Holy heck. And this one's definitely more bronzy. These are gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I'm very excited for all of them. I think these bottom colors are ones that I lean more towards than the top two. But I love that these are so unique. I don't have a lot of these colors in my collection or maybe even any of these kinds of colors in my collection other than the Uh -huh Honey palette. So I think using these with that palette is gonna be beautiful. And other palettes, of course. All right, so that was the Uh -huh Honey palette. That was my four yellow Super Shock shadows. Now we're gonna get into more of Kathleen's favorites. I do have one other thing in this box that was not on her list that was on my list, but we'll get to that. Okay, the next thing I got were two of her new blushes. So Kathleen recently collaborated with ColourPop on four new blushes. I picked up her two favorites. Her other colors were, I think it was like Space and Time, Stars and, like Stars and Stripes. I have two of her blushes. These were the ones she mentioned were her two favorites. She said these were the more neutral colored ones. I have Lunar Has It, and I also have I Need Space. Her other shades were My Sun and Stars, which was beautiful. It was like a peachy, corally pink, with like a little bit of like a gold reflect to it. And then So Retrograde was like a burnt orange shade. So this is I Need Space. Hey y'all, editing Joy here. So my video I noticed as I'm editing, cut out a bunch of stuff, not a bunch of stuff, but a couple things that I picked up from my haul yesterday. So I pulled those products. I'm gonna go over them with you right now. The one thing that I got was the So Juicy Lip Gloss. This was in the shade Roundabout. So this was one of the ones that Kathleen recommended. And it is a little bit of a sticky product, but it's pretty. I'm gonna give it a whirl, see if I like it. I just wasn't crazy about how sticky it was, but we'll see. We'll see, it might be worth it. Another product I picked up was the Super Shock Shadow in Waddles. That is the color here. You can see it's a very creamy formula. And that is the swatch. So she mentioned this was a really like great everyday look, beautiful. Sorry I'm all shiny and gross. I just got out of work and got changed and I'm just a hot mess today. So hopefully y'all don't mind. Next I have a Super Shock blush here. This is a Super Shock cheek called Between the Sheets. This is the one that she said is the only one that she actually likes, I believe, of the Super Shock blushes. So this is a beautiful formula. It's not a color I would typically gravitate toward, but it is really, really beautiful. So that is Between the Sheets. I started to get into her new blushes when I was recording the video but I got cut off. So I also picked up these two little hard cases that will store the single shadows. I talked to you about, I need space, which is this color here. Swatch it for you as well. So that's, I need space. Lunar has it is the other blush I have from her. That is Lunar Has It. Last but certainly not least, I picked up her Where the Light Is Super Shock Shadow Quad. This was the very first product that she ever came out with with ColourPop. And there's four Super Shock shadows in here. The first is a matte formula called Glow. It's also very creamy. That is Glow. 
It's kind of like a concealer color. would make probably a really good shadow base even. I have Blaze, and this is a Super Shock Shadow. This is the Ultra Glitter formula. And these, this formula is like almost like wet feeling. It's really cool. The next we have Cornelius, which is the name, I believe, of her first dog. And this is also a matte formula. Very creamy. So that's Cornelius there. And last but not least is her signature shade, Kathleen Lights. This is also a satin formula. And she said this one was her favorite. Let's swatch it here. So you can see this one's a little bit more of like a kind of like an old gold, like a deeper brown gold. This is more of a coppery color. You've got this nice base shade and this really pretty neutral. Overall, I'm really, really happy with everything I picked up. I'm really glad for her suggestions and I wanted to make sure I shared all the products with you guys. So we'll get right back to the video. I have a lipstick from the Zodiac collection and this is in the shade, What's Your Sign? Such cute packaging. So she's got the little Scorpio on this guy here. It's my man's, that's Doug's sign. Beautiful packaging. You can see there's little little stars all along the top, if you can see that. You guys see the little stars? And there's even stars on the inner packaging there. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. That's the shade right there. Just kind of like a beautiful kind of like baby pink, mauve, easy to wear, your lips but better, nudish color. I think that'll be gorgeous. And this was something that she did not recommend, but that I picked up because I wanted it. This is the California Love Palette. I thought this was so gorgeous. This is supposed to be kind of like the deeper, bronzier sister of the Sweet Talk Palette. And that's on it right up my alley. So this is the gorgeous packaging here. Little palm trees, it's got some reflective packaging on the front, it's just gorgeous. And then this is the stunning color story. This is so my taste, like right up my alley. Love this. I can see me getting a ton of use out of it. I think this one and the Sweet Talk palette are probably two of the prettiest color stories I've ever seen ColourPop come out with. So I was very, very excited. Then I have a bunch, and I mean like a, a bunch <laughs> of these little other products to go through with you guys. So I have an ultra matte lip here. This is in the shade Fuego. And I believe this is one that Kathleen also might have come up with, but I'm not positive. So this is Fuego. This is an ultra matte lip. It's like a beautiful, like, like a caramel, a caramel color maybe. Ooh, okay. This is gorgeous, first of all, but it's like a deep, like terracotta color. Let's see there. It's definitely darker than I thought it would be, but it's gorgeous. It's like warm and Caramel terracotta gorgeousness. I can't wait. This is beautiful. I also picked up a lippy pencil. This is in BFF1, or just BFF, I believe, but I think it's the BFF1. So this is a gorgeous, pretty mauvey nudish lip liner. That is the color. And I think I'll get a ton of use out of this. I love having nude lip liners. I also picked up an ultra glossy lip. This is in the shade Champagne Mommy. And she actually mentioned this one in her video. This is like her favorite gloss, I think, of all time. But this is the color here. It's like a pretty coral with what looks like gold glitter in it. Really beautiful. This is a gloss. It's got a little brush applicator. And that's the color right there. It's like a really pretty coral, beautiful shade. I have a Lippy Sticks. This is in the shade Aquarius. So this one was a Kathleen for sure. That's she is an Aquarius. And you have the color here on the bottom. It rolls up like this. And you've got this little lip product here. Whoa, okay, it's a little crumbly. Oh my. Okay, a little creamy, a little crumbly. It reminds me a lot of the What's Your Sign color, but a different formula, a little bit more mauve, a little bit more purple, like a, I'd say like a lavender undertone. Really beautiful though. So I got the Boss Brow Gel, Brow Boss Gel. This is in dark brown. We have this little guy right here. He's cute. And that little spool. He is a little bit bigger than the Essence one, but smaller than the Gimme Brow. So he might be like a good in-between for a brow gel. I also got the ColourPop Volumizing Mascara. This is in Kiss and Teal. So we have it here. I'm not gonna open these up because I don't want them to dry out, but we've got this green mascara. Okay, I also picked up 
in the BFF volumizing mascara. These are all the BFF volumizing mascaras. This is the color Purple Prose, and that's the color there. It's got really pretty packaging. The purple on the packaging matches the color inside. So I have a purple mascara. I picked up Blue Your Mind, which is her favorite. And this is my favorite, I believe, too, from all of them. But I just thought they were really cool, and I can see me getting a lot of use out of the purple and the green and the blue. The red was really neat. The brown looks beautiful. The coral looks amazing. I, I definitely think I might be getting more of these uh, down the line, but for now, I figured I would try these three. So you have Blue You Mind there. It's this beautiful cobalt blue and beautiful blue packaging. I have a bunch, a bunch of eyeliners. So it's funny in her video, she's like, if you don't get some eyeliners, I'm gonna fight you. And I was like, well, all right. Well, all right then, you know, but I thought these were really, really cool. They were very affordable. They were on sale. I don't have a lot of colorful eyeliners. So I was like, I want to play. I want to get in here. I can see the beautiful water lines I can do and bring out, you know, pops of color and such. So I got this really cool lime green one. So vibrant, so beautiful. It is like not playing in the pigment category. Very beautiful. This one is called Electric Daisy Punch. This is also a cream gel liner. This is in a beautiful, like, this I think would go beautifully with the honey palette. We have some bright lemon yellow. You guys can see, just wanna make sure you guys can see that. That's Punch. These are so soft and creamy, slide right on. I feel like they're gonna be very comfortable. Piggy Bank. This one's a really pretty, like, violet purple beautiful beautiful purple get paid oh that is very metallic it's almost like a beautiful kind of champagne-y rose gold copper color i have prance this is like a really pretty periwinkle blue just was so unique so we have that there so pigmented so beautiful would we'll probably be gorgeous with the blue moon palette then we have zulu is the next one this one is like a light teal really beautiful color have it right there. Next we have Exit. Exit's just a white. I thought this would be kind of neat for different kind of like more exotic eye looks, like cutting your crease with the white eyeliner or just to open your eyes more in your waterline. And that is a true white. I mean, it's coming through loud and clear, which is great. Doesn't scratch, super creamy, full of pigment. Very happy. This next one is called Teaspoon. This is like more of like a Kelly green. Really beautiful with the Just My Luck palette or my Huda Emerald Obsessions. This would be beautiful with. I have a lot of beautiful palettes I could use this great green with. Chocolates with the Profusion, my Cargo palette, which is the um, Namaste one. This one is Insomniac. This is a really pretty bubblegum pink color. Oh, she's bright, girl. That's gonna be gorgeous with the It's My Pleasure palette or the Ooh La La palette. We have two more left. We have Puppy is the first one. This is this gorgeous coral shade. She is, whoa, and she broke. All right, so this color is a little crumbly, which is weird. I don't know why it's giving me so much trouble. It's an eyeliner, it really should just swipe. But that's the orange color there. It's definitely a little crumbly, but I'll make it work. And then the last one is called Honey Dude. Is that serious? Yeah, Honey Dude is this one. Ah, this is like a light nude color. Really, really pretty. And it basically is just kind of like a concealer color. But that could be really pretty for your waterline too, just keep your eyes real open. All right guys, so that was everything I got from ColourPop. That was like totally crazy. Like there's a lot, a lot of stuff, but I feel like I made some really good choices. I got products I did not already have. I got stuff that was unique to my collection. I'm trying to be much more thoughtful. I want to have a curated makeup collection, not just everything that I can have, have. You know, like, oh, there's a new palette, grab it. Like, I, I don't want that. I want to focus on things that I know I'm gonna use, that I know I'm gonna love, or that I think I'm gonna love, stuff that's unique that I can be more creative, expand my channel, expand on what I can do for you guys. So I'm really, really happy with everything I picked out. I'd love to know what your favorite products are from the haul today or products you love from ColourPop. If you see any products today that you're like, Joy, can you please create an, a look with this? I would be happy to do it. So just let me know. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this little ColourPop haul. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much to Kathleen for your great suggestions. I cannot wait to try these products out. And I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.